Hello everyone, and welcome back to Advanced Web Rankings video series. In the following minutes, I'll guide you through creating a project to monitor your client's website's visibility in SERPs for any location, device, language, or search engine. AWR makes it easy for you to identify opportunities for driving more traffic to your client's website and how to stay ahead of the competition and Google's Algo updates. Let's get started. Begin by navigating to the home screen or projects view to add a new project. In the wizard, simply follow the guided steps to complete all the information required to be added, so AWR can do its magic. Basic campaign settings, such as website URL, targeted country, depth, update frequencies, and email notifications. Your targeted keyword set and search engines. And last but not least, you can manually add your competitors or let AWR reveal the most relevant ones after the update. Now let's dive into each and every one. First, head to the basic campaign settings and start typing in your website URL. By adding domain.tld, the default AWR settings allow you to see any of your domain page rankings, not just the homepage. Alternatively, you can mainly focus your reporting on a specific subdomain, landing page, or just the index page if you're aiming for a more targeted campaign. I'll leave my entire domain for analysis. Next up is choosing the targeted country. AWR supports tracking in more than 130 countries and counting. Spot one missing from our list? Just drop us an email, and we'll make sure to add it to our tracking portfolio. Country selection determines the SERP's location, as well as the default search engines added for monitoring. Let's focus on the US for my project. Next, choose your preferred search depth, which is how deep we go when updating rankings. Remember that switching to a depth higher than 5 also influences the required units, because more resources are being used in the background. Then, choose the update frequency according to your project's needs, deciding how often you'd like your rankings and visibility performance to be automatically updated. You also have the option to pause the project. During this time, updates will happen either if you switch to automatic updates or when you request an on-demand update. Moreover, if you want to be up-to-date with your project's performance, you can opt to receive email updates containing the latest stats. Additionally, you have the option to receive keyword difficulty updates alongside your ranking updates. These updates provide valuable insights into identifying and optimizing low competition keywords, helping you boost their visibility on the first page. Now that we're done with the basic campaign settings, let's move on to the keywords we want to track. You can easily add and keep track of keywords in any language or alphabet supported by Google search, including special characters. Just paste or type your targeted terms, one per row, and we'll handle the counting for you. We'll even try to help you with a few keyword suggestions. Or, if you already have the keyword set ready, simply import it. CSV and TXT are the supported file formats, and both keywords and groups can be uploaded to the project. Moreover, if you've already created a project within your AWR account, you can import its keywords and groups with just a few clicks. They can even be imported with their historical performance and the search engine. Another important step is the search engine selection. Any search engine, market, location, or result type you can think of, we can track it down for you. By default, a Google Desktop Universal Search Engine specific to your project's country is suggested, and it counts as one search engine unit. However, you can expand your search engine monitoring choices to include popular ones, like Bing and YouTube, as well as country-specific search engines. Furthermore, you can refine your targeting by selecting desktop or mobile devices from specific geographic locations. Our search engine personalization options allow you to tailor your search based on the type of search or the specific results you're aiming for. You can retrieve ranking performance data from anywhere in the country, 
or if your business caters to a specific location, you can narrow it down to state, province, city, and even street or zip code level. I'll narrow my monitoring to the zip code 90210 that belongs to Beverly Hills, California. You can also choose a search language that Google supports in the tracked country. If you're interested in monitoring your website's performance in local pack results, we recommend adding your website name as it appears in your Google My Business account. Before moving on, there are some important things to be mentioned. If you need to monitor ranking positions across various international markets, a search engine must be defined for each country. In AWR, search results are tracked separately by device. If you need to track keyword rankings from searches performed on both desktop and mobile devices, you will have to define two search engines, one for each type of Google search. The keyword queries added to the projects should be in the same language as the ones selected at the search engine level. Adding more than one version of the Google search engine increases the number of keyword units required to update the project. To keep track of keyword unit consumption for your projects, check out the resources bar. And now, last but not least, add the competitors you want to keep an eye on. In each AWR project, you can track up to 50 competitors for free, targeting the same keywords in search engines. Unlike the project inputs mentioned earlier, tracking competitors won't impact your resource consumption. Similar to adding keywords, you can add competitors' domains or specific URLs one per line. Or check out our suggestions. You can either get suggestions for the main added website or for another URL. Once you're done with your project settings, create it and wait for your first update. AWR will collect the SERPs for your keywords live in real time. The results are not served from an existing dataset, so this takes a little while. Depending on how complex the project is, the initial ranking update is ready within minutes, but can take up to a few hours. You can edit your project settings, including website name, tracking preferences, keywords, and search engines at any time. Remember that AWR allows you to track unlimited projects. So, if you need to monitor another website or customer domain, simply follow the same steps and add new projects within your resource quota. And that's it! You're now ready to start tracking and analyzing your website's performance in AWR. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next videos.